I now call to order the New Carlisle Special Meeting, February 20th, 2019, at 7 p.m. Mr. Bridge. Uh, Councilman Cobb? Here. Councilman Cook? Here. Uh, Vice Mayor Lindsay? Here. Mayor Reynolds? Here. Councilman Shammy? Here. Council Councilman Lowry? Here. Fantastic. All present. Our invocation tonight will be done by Vice Mayor Bill Lindsay, if you all do not mind rising. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come to you once again, Lord, to do the business of this city, Father. Hopefully to move this city forward and make the best decisions uh, possible that we can. Father, we ask you to lead and guide each and every person here tonight. Watch over our firefighters, our police officers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Do our back I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Fantastic. There are no action on minutes, no communications, <coughs> no city manager's report. Comments from members <coughs> of the public, please limit comments to five minutes or less about one of our agenda items or anything else. Hearing none, resolutions, there is one tonight. Introduction in action, Mr. Bridge. Resolution 19-04R, public, public hearing in action tonight. A resolution amending resolution 18-14R, the capital improvement program for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio for additional capital purchases. Council. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. Move to accept uh, resolution 19-04R. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Chairman Cobb. <laughs> In an explanation to this resolution, this allows us to amend the existing CIP that we did to allow for additional capital purchases. Council, so I would any discussion? Is he done? Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm talking. I thought he was going still. Sorry. Ready for the? Well, Mr. Cook, you have something? You were just telling Randy where to oh. start. All right. Ready for the vote? Yeah. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Council, uh, my, Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Councilman Shammy? Yes. Councilman Lowry? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. And Councilman Cook? Yes. Resolution passes by six of six in favor, zero against. Ordinances, we have one tonight. Action. Mr. Bridge. Ordinance 19-02, public and hearing and action tonight. An ordinance giving the city manager authority to negotiate the purchase of real property. Council? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Vice Mayor. I move to accept ordinance 19-02. Second. Mr. Chairman. In an explanation of this ordinance, this allows me to go ahead and purchase real property. Council, any discussion? Mr. Cobb. We're, we're, we're going to pay what, one hundred fifty-five thousand for this building? Mm, one hundred fifty-three. One fifty-three. One fifty-three. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at uh, roughly another two hundred thousand for renovation. We have, don't have the final number on that yet. Well, uh, rough guess. Sure. Okay. Now you've got over three. You've got over three hundred thousand on a building that's still not worth no more than one hundred fifty-five. 153000 Okay. Because it takes a while to recuperate that money investment you made in it. This is a discussion you need to be having with your council members. I work at the direction of council. Council, anything else? I have one thing about it. I think it's a very great opportunity for our city. It's something we all discuss, you know, we talk to the public about. Uh, we've already spent $283,000 on rent. 382. Sorry, 383,000 on rent, which means we've already paid for this building, theoretically, two and a half times. And maintenance on it will, oh, is obviously an issue that people have brought up, but we already have to maintain maintenance on the building we're in. It's not, because it's a commercial rent, it's not a real property between a landlord and a residential, employment, uh, a residential area or a residential zone building. So we have to pay for the maintenance of the building we're currently in. It's also not ADA compliant. 
when this building is. It starts out that way, the, the renovations. Uh, Mike, you and I have been on for eight years. Uh, we went through four potential building buys. I like to always clarify that because it's big. Every building we've looked at has never been less than 200,000, any building. And then we had, to, that's just the start out cost. And then we had to look at renovations. The one that uh, comes to mind is the church, Lutheran church on Lake Avenue right across from the pool. We had an estimate buy of 200,000 when city manager Jones was here, another $500,000 in, re in renovation to that building. We had the Clark's building, which was $210,000, and renovation on that was another $260,000. This is, in my opinion, the best deal uh, we can get, and I think it's great to have a building that we'll own that we won't actually have to pay rent on, <laughs> which I think is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna pay in cash, and we're gonna uh, come home. So, council, any other yeah. comments? Mr. Vice Mayor. To follow up on what the mayor said, also, the, uh, it's going to put the city offices downtown with the rest of the businesses, which will draw more traffic downtown because there's a lot of traffic going in and out of the city building that, you know, they might go to one of the restaurants, they might hit one of the shops. You know, I agree with the mayor. I think this is a fantastic idea and a fantastic buy for the city. Council, anything else? Mr. Bridge. Uh, Councilman Lowry. Yes. Councilman Cook. Cobb, I'm sorry. No. Councilman Cook. Yes. Uh, Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Councilman <coughs> Chammy. Yes. Ordinance 1902 passes by a count of five yes votes and one no vote. Now moving on, council, uh, we had discussed. Other business? Nope, not yet. Uh, we discussed uh, last night and during our executive session about the compensation of a public employee. Uh, we have the introduction here tonight. If we can suspend rules of council, just to add it to the introduction for the first read. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. Move to suspend rules of council for the introduction of uh, an ordinance. Is there a second? Mr. Cook. Cook, Mr. Cook. Mr. Yep. Okay. Um, we vote that. Yep. Um, Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Councilman Lowry. Yes. <clears throat> Councilman uh, Cobb. Yes. And Councilman Cook. Yes. And Mr. Bridge, if you do not mind reading the intro to the ordinance. Ordinance 19-03, introduction tonight, uh, public hearing and action on 3-4 of 19. An ordinance establishing comp compensation rates for the city manager of the city of New Carlisle. Thank you. Other business, our budget work session. Uh, we have one more special uh, motion for a special meeting on Monday to enter oh, the budget. That's correct. So to introduce the budget, we had our last work session scheduled for today, and we can't obviously introduce it today. So because we're still going to be discussing some of the final points of it. Uh, is there a motion to set a special meeting on Monday, potentially, if that works out for everyone, so that we can just do the introduction? It'll literally take one read, five minutes. And it has to be Monday, because that would put the two weeks on 311. OK, so it has to be Monday. It has to be Monday. Okay. So move. Second. So that was. Okay, and I can call for the vote. Uh, Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Councilman Shammy? Yes. Councilman Lowry? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. And Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. So that would be. Um, a special meeting to introduce the budget on 625 and 19 here at the shelter house, 7 p.m. and okay, start time for that. Or do you want to do a little earlier? Seven, five for me. Seven's good. Seven's fine. Seven's fine. Yep. Okay. So moved. Yep. Okay. All right. As it works. Budget work session. Council, do we have any? We've already went through the budget. Do you have any additions or comments? I, I, I would like maybe 20 minutes of everyone's time just to go over the final, and I'll explain that. Fantastic. When, when, when we're doing it. And the reason I'm asking for additional 20 minutes, even though we are done with it, 
at the end of tonight's meeting, we have to put a legal ad that has a summary of the budget. Okay, so I always want to go a quick rundown to make sure that all our numbers match and we're on the same page. At the first budget work session, I had said um, I highlighted can corner operations and I let council know that I was having a meeting with the bridge group about our IT. Well, we did get that contract in and I did had to put in an additional uh, about $11,000 in for that contract. Now, with that being said, um, that doesn't mean I, I'm going to sign that contract as of yet. The reasoning we have to look into that is because our software upgrade that we did for our finance department, our tax department, um, that is also going to impact our water department, our wastewater department, our cemetery, our fire, our EMS. So they can actually just access their computers and do purchase requisitions and stuff like that remotely. That requires a VPN connection. This also contract, um, there's been a lot of headlines recently, locally too. City of Riverside, uh, their, uh, their information got hacked and they had to go through a big fiasco to get it all back. And that's hopefully we sign this contract that helps us prevent something like that. So it is a really good protection on our current IT system. But again, I did not have the quote with me when we initially went through the general fund budget. So I did bring up new copies of the budget for all the council members. Uh, that includes the additional, uh, what we had to put it for um, the uh, internet contract. Um, so I'd just like to go through here, make sure everyone's on the same page with the budget, make sure our numbers match, because once the summary hits, it's done. And we have to vote on that on the 11th. So I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Is that okay? Sounds good. Okay. Tell you what, sir. They didn't have time to put bigger on bigger paper, so I do apologize. Someone's going to be a lucky recipient of a color copy. So get there. Okay. I'll tell you what, just go ahead and set that. Down. Need one more. I need one more. Oh, there we go. Sir. Here's a copy of the legal notice that I intend to put in, and it's a big one. <laughs> Need one more, sir? I, I don't want one. You gotta have it, no? Okay, so the only thing that was changed in the general fund, let me get to my page. It's on page 8 of 42. It's lands and building under general fund expense. On mine, it's highlighted yellow. You guys might have it grayed out on yours. Let me know when everyone's there. What's that? One more page. Page 8? Yeah, I've got it. All right. This is so hard to read, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, right here. Is that one right there? Page on. So page eight. eight. Page eight. It's under lands and building under the general fund expense. Okay. So it's eight pages back. If you can't read the page number there on the bottom, just count from page eight from the top. You ready? Okay. Um, we put it under maintenance of equipment, and usually we hover around maybe 2,000 a year for maintenance of equipment. Uh, but since that contract is there, uh, we decided to put it under um, in there because it is maintenance of our routers and our infrastructure like that. Now, with that being said, um, what I've discussed this with our finance director, it does have an impact on our ending balance on our general fund because it is as an expenditure. But what we will do as before the year is over, we'll actually take that charge and divide it up amongst the uh, departments that use it. So fire department will pay for their share, cemetery will pay their first share. So even though it says 13,000 out of this general fund, it's going to be expended to other funds by the end of the year because they have to pay for their, their thing. We just didn't have time to go in and change it all and then redo all the other funds we had done. Um, so it is right there listed as a general fund expense, but we will charge the other departments for that at the, um, before the end of 2019. Is council okay with that addition? Yeah. I don't have a problem with Okay. All right. So when you look at our general fund, our general fund ending balance, our total revenues now is $1,332,525. One and now I'm on page 10, which is the last page of the general fund.
The total general fund expense is $1,665,957. That leaves our ending balance um, at 600, around 615,809. But that's not coordinating with my ending balance here, so I gotta figure out what's going on with that. And that might go down to 608. I gotta figure out where my, comp where my computations didn't go down. Any questions on the general fund? Council. Nope, not here now. Okay. Street construction, if you want to switch to page 12, it's the ending balance for street construction. We have our ending balance at $21,232, and that does match the legal notice. Is everyone on council on the same page with fund 201 street construction? Council. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. We have State Highway, which is, begins on page uh, 13. Ending fund balance of $84,293.38. Any discussion on that fund? Council. Okay. We go to st Street Permissive Tax. We have ending balance of $1,497.74. Any discussion on that fund? Nope. Okay, we're now at page 15, Street Improvement Levy, Fund 204, ending balance 13,336.87. Any discussion on that fund? Council? Nope. Okay, uh, Fund 212, Emergency Ambulance Capital. We're now on page 16, ending balance 102,608.80. Any discussion on those funds? <coughs> okay. We're at fund 213, emergency ambulance operating. The revenues are on page 17. However, uh, the expenditure page is on page 18. So let's go ahead and confirm that we're all okay with that ending balance. $88,900.65. There you go. Okay. Now at fund 214, which is fire capital, both revenue and expenditures are on one page. Ending balance, $105,618.29. Mr. Bridge. Yes. Just real fast. Yep. Uh, I don't know how accurate this needs to be, but I'm assuming pretty accurate. There's like 29 cents missing on the. Um, oh, no, no, that, okay, here, here, this is why. On, on this legal notice, okay. it rounds up the last two digits. So okay. anything below, below 49 is going to be the- Round down, yeah, I, I can make sure down. so it gets- Thank you. <laughs> I was like, wait one second. Yeah, 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 sure. Awesome. Yep. Um, to do, to do, to do. So ending balance is 105,618.29. Can I answer any discussion? Nope. Nope, okay. Fire operating, which is fund 215, both revenues and expenditures are on one page. Ending, uh, ending balance on fire operating, $204,263.35. Council? Oh. Okay. Um, on the legal notice, you'll know a bunch of dashes there that are funds that are just have no balance on them. So we're just, I'd follow this hard copy budget here, so it's not gonna fall on that legal notice. Okay, health levy, which is fund 225. Revenue expenditures on one page. Uh, ending balance is $2,607.70. Council? Nope. Okay, and now we're at fund 250, which is our police uh, levy. Revenues are on page 22. Expenditures are on the following page on 23. Ending balance for police is $350,912.02. Council? Nope. General bond retirement, which is fund 301, both revenues and expenditures are on one page. Um, ending balance is 17,164.83. Um, and I want to discuss this. The ending balance on this stuff, we transfer in to make these payments from the general fund. So at the end of 19, that remaining 17,164, I'm going to uh, inquire with council and instruct uh, and have a discussion with our finance director. 
we don't need all that money in that balance. That needs to be back in the general fund. So that general fund projected ending balance should increase by this amount, okay? Because there's no sense of leaving it in the fund because all we do is pay those, um, pay what the bonds that we have out and so maybe auditor fees. So we can gauge every year how much that's going to be. So there's no reason to have so much of a surplus in that line item. So you can expect probably around 15,000 of that to go back into your general fund at the end of the year, which will help pad that balance, okay? Twin Creeks Infrastructure Bond Debt Retirement Fund 302, Revenues Expenditures on one page. Ending balance on that is $317,271.64. There's another extremely healthy fund. Water Operating uh, Fund 501, Revenues are on, on page one, uh, page 26, Expenditures. 28. This one has two pages, just go ahead and bounce to page 28 which is the last page of the water expenditures. Water ending balance, $41,874.07. Nope. Okay. Uh, wastewater operating, revenue start on page 29. The expenditures do cover two pages, so we'll jump to page 31. We have ending balance in our wastewater, $71,415.45. Nope. No. Nope. Swimming pool revenues are on page 32. Expenditures are on the following page 33. <coughs> we have an ending swimming pool balance projected of $2,623.93. And I, uh, I, one, I have one. Sure. When we just, I can't remember if we discussed that. 30,000 or 40? 40. I thought it was 40, it so was, that should. It is 40, isn't it? No, capital is 30. <coughs> it's only 60. No, 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 that's just for the capital expenses. The general fund transfer of 40,000 went in, 30,000 was earmarked for capital. capital. Now, I'm glad you brought that up. When we discussed that 30,000 capital, it was my understanding that it was strictly for light repair and then bathroom upgrades. Is, am I wrong with that or am I, how, what was the actual discussion? Because that, has, that has to be in, the, in our CRIP when I'm in the yeah, second round. I think like round. general repair is kind of like, that light obviously was the big one. And then restrooms too. Yeah, I mean, I know we hit on lights, you know, obvious, for the obvious reasons, yeah. but then, uh, yeah, I mean, I know the bathrooms was the number, I think the number that one was, after. Yeah, that was yeah. number one. And then if there was anything left over, then. The like general maintenance. So, so am I hearing you guys and do the bathrooms, do the lights, whatever's left over is our, whatever we feel as though need to be repaired but those are the top two things that need to be done. I, I, need, to, I need to put this in the CIP and I wanna make yeah. sure the money's used the way council has well, described. We have our director here, Mrs. Lowry. Whatever else. General maintenance. Okay. Fantastic. I'm cool with that too, but I just wanna make sure that was, you're the one that runs it, so. Yeah. Bathroom lights and then whatever's left over can be April and maybe Howie's discussion about yeah. what needs right. to be fixed. Okay. Fine with me. Sounds good. Um, we already covered the end of balance on that, so we're good. Cemetery operations, revenue pay is on page 34, and our expenditures are on page 35. We have a projecting ending balance in the cemetery of $20,793.32. Any discussion? Council? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Wastewater capital improvement is fund 560. Both revenues and expenditures are on one page. Ending balance is 4744 and 48 cents. Council? Nope. Okay. Then we have some cemetery perpetual care, uh, care, which is fund 705, revenue expenditures on one page. Ending balance of cemetery perpetual care, 145,729 and eight cents. Council? Nope. Okay. And fund 802 is our street lighting assessment fund. Revenues expenditures are on one page, and that is page 38. Ending street light balance of 55,738 and 10 cents. Any discussion? Council, any discussion? Nope. Okay. Now these other ones, remaining funds in here are very inactive or they have zero. Um, so we're looking at community center to water meter upgrade. Um, wastewater construction, uh, economic loan. If you can switch to page 40, that is one thing I do want to bring up. Page, page 40 or 42, so it's the second to last page. 
And we're gonna, we're gonna focus on that line item there that says CDBG economic loan. Um, we started the uh, year with a balance of $21,565, but I would like to expend that to help pay for that Prentice project as we discussed. Mm -hmm. So we'll see that's gonna be a little different from the last time we met. I don't know if I did it for the last budget work session, but now we're going to expend that line item down to zero. So the ending fund balance at the end of 19 will be zero on that. Is that okay with council? Yeah. The yes? Question. Ms. Swansea. The, uh, then the balance of that uh, bill that we're going to get will come out of the general fund? Either general or probably one of the street funds, but street funds are not looking too good, so we're probably just taking out of the general. Because it shouldn't be. Two or 3,000, yeah, something like that. Is it that much? I don't know, I don't I know. I thought it was only like 1,000. I think the total thing was like 24,000, to be honest with you. So, I, I, I don't have the letter in front of me. Okay. Nothing too significant now. Okay. okay, thank you. Sure, and thank you for breaking that up. <clears throat> so that pretty much rounds out the funds that you guys had done. Now, the final budget, as we know, um, how I do that is, we'll introduce it by ordinance, and um, we have to do the introduction a little differently this year. Years past, it was a very vague introduction. We had our language in there and it says, you know, general fund, we're spending this much. However, the state auditor has highly recommended us to expand how we submit the budget for approval. And what that's going to look like is, it'll say general fund, um, and then line items, street construction, for example. It'll say for total expenditures, category them out how we have them now. So, for example, our state highway fund. If you look at it, it's, it's all based off categories. Like we have a total for contractual work, we have a total for materials and supplies. So that's how the budget will be submitted to you guys. You won't see every line item there. You'll just see street fund, personnel service this amount, uh, miscellaneous this amount, supplies and material this amount. Okay, so that's what that budget's gonna look like this year when it's submitted to you. Once that is voted upon and approved by you guys, it has a 15 day waiting period. And after that is done, then I will put the final budget together where that's the one where I hand out, where it's nice bound back, stuff like that, all the graphs, the stuff that I do to present to you guys. So that will come after the um, a period that it's effective because anyone can come back and amend it then I'd have to go back and redo all the work. So it will be introed. Um, Monday at the special meeting, um, and then we'll vote on it at the town hall on the 11th, and then we has to be effective, and we'll have to audit, certify that to the auditor by April 1. And Mr. Mayor, if I can have three seconds. This has been one of the most beneficial budget work sessions that I've had the entire time I've been employed here. Thank you to the citizens, thank you to the council members, thank you to the residents. It has been a great experience, so let's keep that moving forward. Council. Oh, I'm the council. We're done. Mr. Mayor, make a motion we adjourn. Second. We are adjourned. <laughs>